Chef Pennington here. Next in our Kitchen Basics series, we're gonna be covering how to roast the perfect chicken breast and we're gonna make a wonderful creamy tarragon sauce. So what we've got here is we've got one breast that's bone in and one that's boneless with the tenderloin attached and we're gonna salt it up. Make sure that when you're doing your salt, you put in a small little container just so you don't have any cross contamination because you're gonna be putting your fingers back in there and do liberally salt your chicken. It's one of the proteins out there that can really take a lot of salt. If you don't like salt, then that's no problem, but chicken can be kind of bland, so the extra salt is nice. So we're gonna do salt and pepper here. Use as much as you like. If you don't like pepper also, you know, you know, maybe you like cayenne, maybe you like a little extra heat, that works too. So we're gonna take some good olive oil, as Ina Garten would say, and we are gonna make sure we cover the entire breast. That's gonna help with the browning in the oven, and it's also gonna help keep it moist. So that's why you want to use good olive oil. Regular olive oil, I don't know, it's kind of placid. It just doesn't have a really good flavor to it. So we're getting our breast completely covered here. Now one of the differences of roasting with the bone on, it will cook a little quicker because that bone's going to get hot. So that's an advantage. And when you roast meats on the bone, it provides more flavor. So that's something to consider which way you want to go. The only thing is afterwards, cutting the breast off of the bone eh, can be a little awkward. I mean, it's not like it's hard though. So we're going to use some carrots here. Carrots are obviously sweet and it brings out the natural sweetness in the chicken. Now the chicken's not innately sweet, but it does have natural sugars inside of the, the, the meat and that together is a really wonderful classic pairing. So we're going to take an onion here, half of an onion, slice it real thin. So we're creating a bed to roast the chicken on. Putting the chicken actually on the tray would be fine, but it kind of gets a little weird underneath. And putting it on a roasting rack or a bed of vegetables like we're doing here, it helps for even cooking and it's just wonderful. Plus all those juices are gonna drip down and help season up the chicken, which is cool. So get it placed there nice. I'm using a cast iron skillet. You don't have to use cast iron, but cast iron just really holds the heat and creates an even cooking experience. A little pat of butter there. You could put the butter underneath the skin if you like. And we're going to go straight into the oven here. We're going to roast it at 400 for 30 to 40 minutes. Now here's what I suggest you do. Use a meat temperature probe. It'll tell you exactly what the internal temperature is. We're going to go to 158 degrees. Now you've probably heard 165 is the number, and it is, but you don't want to pull the chicken out at 165 because it's going to rest. And when it sits on the counter, it's going to continue to rise in temperature. And that's why we pull it at 158. So let's make our cream sauce here. We're going to start off with a cup of half and half. Half and half is whole milk and the other half is heavy cream. You could just go one or the other if you like. And what we're going to do is we're going to bring that up to the boil and that's going to cause it to reduce down for us and it's become more of a sauce consistency. So our flavor, we're going to put a little bit of French mustard in there and what that's going to help do is emulsify the sauce. It's going to thicken it and it's also gonna add a nice body of flavor for us. It's not really mustard forward. The, the fat inside of the cream helps round out that flavor. And here's our, our star of the party here, our fresh tarragon. Tarragon has a little bit of that anise licorice kind of flavor to it, but it's very fragrant and it's nothing like licorice. It's, it's really delicious. And chicken and tarragon are great friends. So a little pepper in there, a little pinch of salt. You can see right there. It's a fairly loose sauce, and that's what we want. We don't want it really tight. So slicing and plating. I suggest using a serrated blade. It works really good against the skin instead of just ripping the skin off. So we're gonna do thick cuts on the bias. So we're cutting at a little bit of an angle. It helps for the presentation once you put it on the plate. And you don't wanna cut it too thin. And the reason you don't cut it too thin is it loses its heat really quick. And that's no good. Nobody wants to eat cold chicken, so that's something to think about. Slicing thicker cuts stay warmer longer. Really simple plating, just put on top of the carrots, spoon on some of your, as little or as much. You know, the more cream sauce you put on, the more it takes away from the presentation, so that's something to think about. A little bit of parsley, you guys have got the perfect roast chicken breast. Hope you guys try this out and really enjoy it. Come join us on social media, we'd love to have you. Go ahead and subscribe and hit the like button if you enjoyed. Everything will be on the website, all the instructions and all that good stuff, and you guys have the best. Take care.